I can't believe I've been on YouTube for over a year now and I forgot my anniversary. Now, most people would mark this as a date to remember, and I actually thought I was marking it as a date to remember. I thought I started last year in May, but actually it was April 29th, 2019. And I've given myself a little grace because of what is going on in the world right now, but I also wanted to do a little reflection. So a little backstory on my channel. Other than a few trailers that I've done for my books, I officially started in April 2019 doing AuthorTube videos. And also it's funny enough that April 29th is the same day that I released my 13th book with HQ Digital and I found that kind of a momentous occasion that I just let pass. So I wanted to talk about why I started. I honestly have no idea. Well, maybe I do. As I said, I started off with book trailer videos and I love to edit videos. I don't know what it is about the process, but I really, really enjoy it. Now, I'm by no means an expert and if you look back at my trailers, they're not overly done, but I am so proud of them. But usually once I uploaded one of those videos, I moved on to writing the next book. So back in 2017, I started religiously following people within the AuthorTube community. But I was always the lurker who just binged through people's content and never commented. But I really, really wanted to. I also started to get the urge to put my own content out there, but I had no idea where to start or if anyone would care. And it was way out of my comfort zone. So fast forward to over a year of therapy, and it's not just to do with YouTube videos. It was my own personal anxiety that I had going on. I finally had the courage to do what I had been not doing and really putting myself out there without any apology. I've been publishing books for over seven years now with a traditional publishing house. And like so many others before me here on YouTube, I wanted to share what I've learned and any tips that I had and things that I would have wanted to see when I was just starting out myself. So I started putting myself out there and I started with a writing vlog that went up April 29th of last year and vlogs in themselves are not the best performing videos out there but I have so much fun doing them as I said I love editing so it made sense that that would be my first video now over the past year I've made a lot of mistakes but I don't regret any of them it's the same idea with my books while I'm cringing that I have to go back and read my debut series so that I can publish it myself I've learned so much in the process of writing a book in the same way that I've learned with my videos that I can push past the cringe factor in a way because at that time that was the best thing that I could produce. And in reflecting on starting here, I've changed so much in the last year when it has come to my writing and my personal life. Last year I never would imagine that I would have a live stream here on YouTube to celebrate one of my books. Usually I do some social media mentions and I do my online marketing and then me and my husband go out for dinner and that's the extent of my celebration. But it was so much fun this year to be able to bring together all of the people that I've met over the last year and to celebrate a book because it's an accomplishment. This is imposter syndrome full force right now. And that day in particular was so eye-opening for me. I found a community here. I used to feel like I shouldn't be making an impact in whatever room that I was in. I should be the smallest thing there and no one noticed me, but that's not really the case anymore. That's I learned that I can be out there and I deserve to be out there wherever I want to be. And finding that community here, I never would have imagined in 2017 with my anxiety rule of brain that anyone would have showed up to support me. I've also built up courage over the past year doing things like the live stream I never thought I would. Putting myself out there, commenting on people's videos, sliding in th into their DMs. Yes, I am that person, but I am so sort of making up for lost time and connecting with people I never thought that I could or I would because I was too scared. It's made me a stronger person and it makes me less likely to be the smallest thing in a room. I have a lot of things going on in this brain outside of my anxiety and when it comes to writing and publishing, I want to share it. If I can just assist or help one person out there, and that could be you, make your writing dreams come true, then I feel like that I've done something. And also speaking of community, I wanted to celebrate you, my viewer, for helping me reach over 500 subscribers here on YouTube. Admittedly, last year when I started this channel, I really only wanted to do it for a year, and my goal was 100 subscribers. And obviously this is much cooler, but I totally would have been happy with 100. And speaking of subscribers, 
videos. If you are not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button below and the little notification bell. I post videos Mondays and Wednesdays every week all about the bookish things. And while I'm not really fixated on subscriber count, I admittedly I used to be, but I'm not. I really appreciate this community that I've built up and I appreciate the community all around authors on YouTube. I love just spreading the love of writing. I have so many more exciting things coming to you over the next few weeks, over the next few months. I am doing more interviews with other people in the community, experts in the community as well, just so that I'm able to impart more information for you. And I'm also going to be sharing my process of writing and querying my thriller to get an agent and also self-publish my trilogy. So again, in this rambling mess, I just wanted to do a little chatty video with you again, and I wanted to thank you for making this past year so incredible for me. And while I said I had given myself one year to do this, I don't see myself leaving anytime soon. So be sure to hit that like button because it really helps me out. Subscribe, ring that bell, so you know the next time I upload, and I'll see you soon.